we're going to look at how to subtract using our column method when we have decimals. First thing we've got to do is set out our two numbers correctly, making sure that they're lined up units with units, tens with tens. And the easiest way is to make sure that our decimal points are aligned. So if I put the decimal points in place, I can write this first number in 54.3 and then underneath 12.4. Five. and I'm subtracting. So I'm going to start, normally I would start with the units column but because I've got decimals I start as far right as I've got digits so I'm in the hundredths column and the first thing I can see is I have nothing here at the top so I'm going to put a zero in and that's really important to show that I've got nothing that zero. I need to say 0, subtract 5. If I've got nothing to start with 0, I can't take 5 away. I don't have enough hundredths. So just as with the whole number, we look to the next column to exchange. I'm going to exchange one of my tenths for hundredths. So if I start with 3 tenths and take one out, I've got 2 tenths left. And I can put my tenths into the hundredths column. So now I've got 10 hundredths. 10, take away 5, is 5. Now I look at my tenths column. I've got 2 tenths, take away 4 tenths. Again, I don't have enough tenths, so I look to the next column, which is now my units column. I can take one of my units, leaving 3 left, and I can put that unit into my tenths column. There's my one unit going in. A unit is the same as 10 tenths, so now I've got 12 tenths. Take away 4 tenths is 8 tenths. And now I've come to the decimal point, which stays in the same place. I'm into my units now. 3 subtract 1, 2 is 1. And into my tens to finish off, 5 tenths take away 1 ten is 4 tenths. So my answer is 41.85.